Good kill, good kill. Hey, good kill. So if you're watching these videos and you want to get into DCS, definitely check out Apex Gaming PCs. This is where I got my laptop. I'm super happy with what I received. And keep in mind that they have the A-Firm program, which allows you to pay month to month so that it doesn't hurt your wallet too badly. Check out the links below to make your own custom PC that fits your budget. Big thank you to Apex Gaming PCs. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're here in the F-18 Hornet. Uh, it's the F-18F, the Super Hornet technically. And we're going to be fighting the J-35 or J-31. The J-35 is the naval variant of the uh, Chinese fighter. Uh, it's called the Jer Falcon, which I don't, I don't know. It's the largest Falcon or something like that. Now, uh, when I looked this thing up, they said that it was developed independently as a private venture by the Xinyang aircraft manufacturer. Like it wasn't necessarily uh, requested by the military. But have a look at this thing because it looks familiar. <laughs> <laughs> Not so independent, I don't know. Going uh, into the vertical against this thing here, it's like a weird mix between an F-22 and an F-35. It's a strange little thing, this aircraft here. Like the silhouette at times looks just like an F-22, it's kind of weird. but it kind of strikes me as having the flight characteristics of maybe the F-35. I mean, here it is, look at this thing going by right now. It's got like the body of an F-22, the wings of an F-35. <laughs> I don't know, man, this thing's so weird. Uh, he might cross my nose here, let me take a shot real quick. I'm a little late on that, a little late. Now, in terms of, uh, like, I would say that this thing absolutely cannot one-circle fight with a Hornet. Um, Two-circle may be a different story, but generally these new generation aircraft that the Chinese are making don't strike me as really good dogfighters, like the J-20, for example. Uh, it looks more like a missile truck, the J-20. But I think that's by design. I mean, these aircraft are technically their stealth fighters, and... Theoretically, a stealth fighter should not merge, right? It should kill something long before it gets to a merge. That's all theoretical, right? <laughs> How good is your stealth? Uh, a couple of rounds there just to scare him, but it doesn't look like it did much. He is actually trying to, like, he is trying to two-circle fight me, it looks like. Oh, he's back there. He might try to take a shot here. Uh, oh, he might be. Alright, watch this. His closure actually appears to be pretty high. Okay, a couple rounds missed. There he goes. I'm gonna turn. I'm gonna reverse the turn here. And we should be able to get an overshoot. There he goes. Oh, he pulled hard there. You saw those vapors come off him. He really tried to not overshoot there. And almost got shot in the vertical there. Look at this, I'm so slow, 59 knots. <laughs> and here we go, we're falling down. But we're falling down correctly, I'm on a six. It looks like anyway. <laughs> All right, there he goes. Oh, he's coming around, gotta be careful here, dodge his nose. All right, just gotta make sure I don't hit the ground here. Wow, well, look at those eyeballs. Wow. <laughs> those will always be scary when you notice them. All right, there he goes, and looks like we're in a two circle. I'm going to chase him. Uh, he looks like he got real slow there as well, so we both kind of recovered from getting super slow. And so far, I got him in a two circle. There he goes once again. Looks like an offset two circle, actually. And I've got 440 knots, so we can start cashing some of this in, probably. We can exchange our kinetic energy for nose position by pulling G's. 
and see if we can get the nose to come around and point at this guy. There he goes. I'm going to reverse the turn here. Oh, he's slower than I thought he was. I thought he was faster than that. Try to drop the nose here to get below his nose as he goes by. All right, here we go. Reverse into him again, and he's out in front. All right, this time I've got him fully defensive, and I'm not going to let him go from here. At 165 knots, so he's got to get me to overshoot, and good luck getting a Hornet to overshoot. This thing bleeds energy so quickly. He's going to try to jink here. Yeah, look at this. Oh, he's flailing. Trying not to get shot. Wait for it. He's slow here. Let me see if I can pull him in. Come here. Let it happen, buddy. Just let it happen. There we go. Hits. All right. And he did not like that. <laughs> Look at him spinning out. All right. Splash one J35. All right. That went well, right? That was okay. Almost had me there when he was on my six. I've seen the J20 do like one really good turn at air shows and things like that. Um, so I, I think it can do one good turn. That's not anything crazy, but it really seems like the Chinese are not really pushing for super maneuverable fifth generation fighters. Uh, something that both the Americans and the Russians did when you think about it. The Americans with the F-22 and the Russians with the Sukhoi 57. Uh, when they built their fifth generation fighters, for some reason they thought that you know they should be able to dogfight. Uh, into the merge here once again I'm gonna go vertical Wow he came in fast there But look at how fast he bled off the speed Makes me think that thing is not very uh, I don't know Efficient kind of feels like a flying turkey because he came in fast broke a sonic boom beside me And he's already slow after his first turn which is kind of similar to what I was saying that I saw from the J20. We're in a downward spiral with him right now. Uh, I'm definitely going to one circle fight him. But to be fair to him, his nose authority is pretty decent when he's slow. He does get some pretty good nose authority. Look at this move here. This is nice. Wow. Oh, he almost had me there. That was lucky. All right. He's got my six again. We'll reverse the turn here. Always got to maneuver in relation to your bandit. He might cross my nose here because I got so slow. Oh, got a shot off at him. And I think I might have nicked him. So he was kind of diving down on me and uh, got really fast, didn't realize how fast he was getting on the downslope there, almost had him. Um, and he ended up really fast and then when I reversed on him I bled off a lot of speed, as the Hornet does, and uh, he ended up crossing the HUD and he got nicked for it I think. Uh, here we go, he's out in front and coming back into my HUD so we're going to line it up and I think we hit him. Oh yeah, definitely saw hits across his back there and ejection. Yeah. 
There we go. And, uh... Oh, that's cool. You see those trees move? Like a shockwave? That's a new DCS effect. Now, from my understanding, this thing when it was first revealed, uh, the J31, I believe the J31 is a land-based variant and the 35 is intended to be the naval variant, but they're the same thing. J31, J35, same aircraft. Uh, just one's naval and the other one's not. Um, from my understanding, maybe this thing was, I think, initially maybe intended for export uh, for countries who couldn't purchase the F-35, whether it wouldn't be sold to them or you know they, they couldn't afford it. So this thing is maybe like a like a cheaper version of an F-35 essentially. You know, here we go once again into the vertical. This works well for me, so I'm not going to stop doing it. Uh, he bleeds a lot of his speed doing this. And I'm just going to really push into the vertical here. Oh, he almost got nose on there. I'm super slow and I don't know where he is at. Oh, there he is. Got him. Look at this. We'll turn the lift vector at him and hopefully he'll fall and I'll fall behind him. We'll see. Because, like, surely he's got to be running out of uh, speed here. A little disorienting here. It's hard to tell, like, which one's the sky and which one's the water. <laughs> I'll show you. Look at that. There. That's the land underneath me. <laughs> that should help you orient. Um, here we go. We are... He's below me now. He ran out of uh, speed and basically fell out of the sky. Uh, and I'm going to chase him. Let's see if I can get rounds off right here. Almost. Almost lined him up. And I'm going to try to keep him out in front. He's going to keep reversing, trying to build aspect and try to get me to overshoot, but I'm not going to let him. And I'm on a six here. Hold on. Hold on. Dead. Oh, yeah. There we go. Good hits. Is he okay? No, he's not. And ejection. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, yeah, he tried to climb up there with me. And uh, he, he ran out of energy there. Fell out of the sky. I fell behind him. And uh, bada boom, bada bing. He's dead. Bob's your uncle. <laughs> but uh, let me know in the comment section what you guys think of this thing. Uh, is it essentially an F-35? I might hit it with a couple of Fox 2s here on the way down. Is it a knockoff F-35? Is it actually pretty good? I don't know. You guys tell me. Do we want to do a BVR fight with this thing and see how that plays out with the Hornet? Fox 2 again. You know, let me know in the comment section what you guys want to see going forward. Alright guys, thanks for watching.